I'm in love with the Coco. Coco coin update. Let's do this. We're going to do a deep dive today, guys. Bit of a longer video, but we do have good news here coming through because this coin is absolutely smashing it right now. Okay, we talked about this for the past couple of weeks. I said, hey, this coin is going to be one you need to watch. And the reason for that is because uh, it is actually powered by Binance Chain and they have actually backed them by adding liquidity to these guys. So yes, these guys are solid. They're also attending Blockchain Week in Dubai. Uh, and I believe that was either yesterday or it is next week. I'm not fully clued up on that. But what I will say is this coin is doing fantastically right now. So it was a fantastic call uh, so far. And as you can see, bang that with the price looking pretty good in the past 24 hours, just straight up. It's just straight up right now really really cool if we're looking at the market cap we can see yep exactly the same straight up looking good up to 45 million market cap right now really really cool stuff let's take a look at the socials though because these guys are obviously they're they're targeting the big crypto and telegram groups they're targeting this kind of mainstream crypto audience at the moment uh, and yes it does seem to me that they are growing if we're looking at this on certic you guys know certic they're an audit company right but we can see here that yes their socials are growing fantastically every single day so really really cool here they're getting like a thousand to 500 members to a thousand members every single day so really really cool stuff here uh, and we are seeing with their telegram as well activity is super important in telegram so we can see the active users the uh the telegram users here we can see have gone up this week significantly and we're getting those active members come in and putting messages into their telegram chat and this is actually one of the biggest indicators for me for a coin uh, that is actually successful because it's very hard to fake those telegram messages it's very hard to bot them if there are people in their messaging this is a really good metric to be watching so yes uh, another bit of criteria tick box coming through on the coco coin really love to see it all right uh, and uh yeah if we do go over to their site just a little bit of a run through if you haven't heard of this coin yet guys you can buy it on pancake swap bang that in press the buy coco button uh, i will get a just link in the description for that and you can see yes beautiful stuff here this is just very simple you guys know how to do this it is on uh binance chain as we talked about right but very very simple you want to bang it in collect connect your wallet okay see how much you want to trade with it and then boom you would swap that for coco and you would own it and be able to see it in your wallet all right simple you guys probably know this so i'm not going to spend too long on that but uh, that's how you do it okay they do have airdrop missions coming so you got to connect your wallet for that and then uh, yeah do whatever tasks they deem necessary all right and from that point uh, if we are going to look at this this website again i will just say it is fantastic i do like this animation i do like this logo okay it's clean and it's obviously got the pepe installation okay on the face the face pepe installation coming through all right uh they're in 156 countries they raised 24 million okay so yes uh this is something that has budget it is something that is at a decent market cap as we said over 40 million pretty good and continuing to rise right over the past few days it's just ticking a lot of boxes right now uh, and i'm pretty happy this has come through i haven't sold any yet but uh, as i said my targets here for this are roughly like 4x okay if bitcoin continues to bang it then uh, yes this thing will bang it as well and the reason why i'm pretty confident in that at the moment is because yes bitcoin has pumped up right and then altcoins that are typically successful or typically have attention from decent investors or the smart money will go up slightly after bitcoin right so we're seeing the say coin do that we're seeing sui do that all right any of these big coins uh, that are kind of speculative but uh, they do have that attention of that smart money and the investors they will follow bitcoin a couple days after and we are seeing that today bang it okay as bitcoin is pulling back this thing is just blasting to catch up right so really cool five percent today i do love to see it and uh yeah they did do 80 percent on the airdrop as well so uh, if you're looking at tokenomics you're looking at the holders and whether it's monopolized or centralized it's looking pretty good on the airdrop front okay if 80 percent is distributed yeah i mean that's a that's a bit of a tick box for me anyway um beautiful meme there hodl coco coin okay if you want to check out their white paper you can do on their website for sure but what what is the chart looking like okay we're a chart channel let's look at the chart all right boom okay we can see this on the screen right now uh, we did our first update on this i think around here okay we're now above that point we did have a bit of a pullback on this trend line as expected but we did say in the past video here guys that yes uh, we are looking for this thing to essentially follow this same pattern so as we talked about when you have a massive airdrop you do get sell pressure 
every coin has this, all right? And that's essentially what's happened here. We had a massive dump down, okay? Got saved on the four hour volume weighted ATR bands here. And then absolute blast off from this point, looking like a V-shaped recovery if I've ever seen one. Uh, and yes, uh, what I've been saying here is as long as it kind of follows this trajectory, yes, it's a new coin, so you can expect that volatility, but as long as it's following this trajectory up, okay, it's actually a very, very good sign. And not, I just, I just deleted the uh, indicator there. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, uh, we can see here that, yeah, as long as it's following that trajectory up, it's not only a V-shaped recovery, but uh, yes, it is something that is trending in that direction uh, after the after the, uh, the airdrop, right? The airdrop dump. Uh, this little pump here was obviously because of the Binance news, so it was a bit of a, a worry when we did start dumping down, of course, for a lot of investors, but as you can see, uh, and as I said, as long as it continues to follow this path after that, and as long as it's following this kind of meme progression line, then uh, yes, uh, it is something that is remaining bullish in my head, okay? Uh, what we can say here is we do have the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band here. This is actually super important. If we can get above that and stay above that, I do expect a nice trend to form and we will potentially go up from there up to the four hour volume weighted ATR band. Uh, if we do hit the four hour volume weighted ATR band, again, that's 13%. Obviously we are in meme coin land. Uh, these percentages are bigger. But if we can get up to this point, I would expect a pretty bearish reaction from this, just naturally, uh, as we would expect as we hit a resistance or something like that. So a pretty bearish reaction from this, uh, but it's really, do we recover after that bearish reaction? Uh, and if that's the case, then uh, yeah, we, we basically blast off over that and then try to get to those next levels. But after that, we're pretty much in price discovery, right? Because the all-time high uh, is pretty high up, of course, but that is like the initial pump all-time high, right? And what we're really looking at is this kind of level here. Uh, so this kind of 1860 level, uh, if we can get above there, that's really for me when we start to enter the price discovery for this coin. Uh, and that's really when we can seriously do uh, five, six X from that point. And that's really what I'm looking for, for this investment. Okay. I wouldn't say bet the farm on this thing, guys, but I would say it has performed very, very well so far. And I'm pretty happy with this pick so far. Okay. It's looking pretty decent. I covered it for a reason for multiple videos. And uh, what I will say is yes, uh, it's performing nicely. Okay. It's performing pretty nicely indeed okay so uh yes let's just see let's just see uh what else we can we can go through here i know i know i was going to talk about the uh the the binance stuff so let's just grab that and throw it up on the screen beautiful stuff i thought i was following them okay well i, yeah, I definitely was following them i think i followed them last video right uh but yeah what they're looking at here is uh obviously meme heroes contest from bnb chain uh bnb are obviously trying to by trying to uh, support some of their coins so they can bolster the meme coin space in their chain, okay? Solana have really taken over with the memes, but uh, when you're seeing these kind of uh, these kind of blockchains with such significant amounts of money and power really back the meme coins, they're really looking for that success as well. And these guys have billions of dollars to throw around. So yes, I imagine they'll be doing more of this kind of stuff. And uh, we can see that Coca Coin is gonna be one of the first in this trend uh, for that. And when you are the first in a trend, guys, you're usually gonna be the most successful in that trend. Not all of the time, but a lot of the time okay uh, so yeah they did actually say that uh, yeah they've done this again with a few other coins here and uh, just retweeted here from coco coin uh, just saying hey yes look at binance chain people are uh, the coins are going wild here then yes uh, check out those coins and check out us as well right that's essentially what they're saying here in a friendly way uh, but uh, yeah really really cool they're, they've also put out a little scam warning. So uh, there was a scam project called Coco Swap that copied this coin and, and tried to kind of uh, copy the branding. These guys have put out a warning. This is also another tick box for a project. Okay, if a project is uh, is is calling out the scammers, right, then they are a lot less likely to be scammers or to rug or anything like this, right? So this is just a, a kind of a genuinity a tick box for me. All right, a green flag, if you will, uh, when they are saying, hey, yes, watch out for this. This is not us. Okay, do not fall for that, right? <laughs> so that makes sense. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, as we talked about previously, the Binance Blockchain Week in Dubai. Okay, yeah, 30, 30th of October to 31st of October. So if they're attending that, you can imagine they're going to be mingling. They're going to be trying to get that B2B going. Okay, the business to business. They're trying to get those partnerships formed. And Dubai is the absolute best place in the world to do that when it comes to crypto. Okay, so they're going to be shaking hands with a lot of people over there. 
there. They're going to be showing these people their $40 million market cap. Uh, and then these people potentially will invest a lot of money in Dubai, of course, or they will form partnerships with these guys in which they will absorb the communities and then raise their market cap and holders from that point as well. So really, really cool stuff here. Obviously, they're trying to compete with the big dogs. Okay, they're trying to compete with SHIB, Doge, Pepe, Bonk. Okay, uh, they're looking to get up there with SHIB. Uh, and it does make sense. Every project is obviously going to try and do that. But these guys are definitely set up to be one of the first ones on Binance chain to do this. Okay, to, to basically win a competition and be funded by Binance. Yes, I mean, that's another tick box here, right? So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Again, what I'm looking for here is a 4x, okay? Uh, and if if we go higher than that, great. Maybe I'll leave some in. But overall, yes, uh, this is looking like a fantastic project. It's a great pick so far. The chart looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys uh, either tomorrow or Sunday um, when uh, when we have an update for it, okay? And, and just see how this is going, okay? Um, besides that, yeah, I will be getting another update out for you guys in a bit, okay? Uh, potentially a Bitcoin update, so just stick around for that. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of any of these coins that I put out here, because uh, obviously I'm, I'm kind of changing the narrative of the channel a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of saying, hey, if I'm investing in this, I may as well make videos on it, right? I may as well update the people that are kind of doing the similar things here, right? You guys are similar to me, so any anything I'm coming up with here or anything that I'm thinking about buying, I'd like to hear your opinions on, right? So that's why I'm going to be putting updates like this on the channel. All right, so that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to drop a like on it. Be sure to comment on it. Be sure to comment on it. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.